Hello wonderful viewer, this is Anton, welcome to What The Math. It's June 2016 and it turns out that our planet Earth has not one, but two moons. Today we're going to talk about this new discovery, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So what am I talking about? Well, it turns out that uh, we've discovered that there's a little rock orbiting around our planet Earth, technically creating yet another moon for our planet. So we don't just have one moon, but we now have two. Well, okay, that's not exactly true. So let's actually recreate this in Universe Setbox so you can actually see what's actually going on. I'm going to go into just a regular simulation here known as solar system with major moons. And we're going to zoom in on our planet Earth you get to see that there is our moon orbiting around us. But uh, in June of 2016, we discovered that there's a little rock actually orbiting with our planet as it moves around the sun, but it orbits in such a way that it actually is technically our miniature moon. And when I say miniature, I really, really mean miniature because it's actually very, very small. I'm going to recreate this so you can actually see how small it is and also give you an idea of how far away it is as well. So it's about 9 to 14 million kilometers away, which is about uh, up to 40 times away the distance of Earth from the moon. So it is super, super far, but let me just try to put this in a very stable orbit around our planet, which is actually not as easy as you think, because as soon as I increase the orbit, to about 9 million, it's very likely going to escape and just orbit around the sun because it is actually past the area known as the Hill Sphere uh, and that's where essentially the gravitational pull of our planet Earth is strong enough to hold the object in this orbit permanently. But because it's so far away and here I can actually change this to um, lunar distances, so it's about 30-ish lunar distances away, actually 38 to possibly even 100 distances away. Um, so it is pretty far from us and it's also very, very small. It's only about 40 to maybe 100 meters big. So we're going to change its size as well to a radius of about 50 meters. And uh, this actually doesn't have a name yet. It's only known as 2016 H03 because it's just an asteroid we recently discovered, but its actual orbital path is a little bit different. It's actually a little bit inclined, so it looks more like this. And so let's just let this go and see how stable this orbit is, and you'll see that right away it actually escapes and starts orbiting around the sun. Now in this game, it's, um, it's kind of difficult to simulate using n-body simulations, uh, this particular very, very extreme type of orbit. So it's very likely that it, we're not going to be able to create uh, this in Universe Sandbox. Uh, but in real life, so it does orbit around Earth in this sort of fashion, and apparently it's been doing this for about 100 years now, or over a century. Um, and we'll do this for a few hundred years, but obviously because of perturbations created by the moon and by other nearby objects, it will eventually do this, what you see right now. It's eventually going to escape and just start orbiting around the sun and not be our moon anymore, which is why it's actually technically known as a quasi-moon. It's not a true moon. It is kind of like a fake moon of Earth. But now it's not a moon of Earth anymore at all. The only way I can actually create a very stable moon of Earth in this particular simulation is by putting it a lot closer. So if I were to put it right about here, 2 million kilometers, this would be actually stable for many, many years. And you see, even that actually escapes relatively fast. But there is actually a point um, between the L1 and L2 Lagrange points where the orbit actually is quite stable. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find this here I'm having trouble finding that particular point. Mostly because I think our moon actually does affect these uh, objects quite a lot, as uh, as do other planets, as does, of course, Earth. So, uh, yes, creating a permanent moon around Earth would be very, very challenging. Hey, where is this rock going? Is it going to collide with Earth? No, it's probably not. It's very likely going to escape, just like so many as asteroids that actually do pass close to our planet Earth. Uh, so, this particular quasi-moon known as 2016 H03, which is right here, orbits in this fashion. So there's Earth in the middle, and this is what its orbit look like around Earth as it sort of orbits around the Sun as well. And once again, if I actually let go of the time 
it will start orbiting just around the sun because this is actually what will happen eventually after a few hundred years when its orbit is no longer stable because it's just a little bit too far away from Earth. But what's I guess really cool about this is that it's been around there for hundreds of years and we still really haven't seen it. Uh, this is the first time we've actually discovered it and this was completely by accident as well. So maybe because it's going to stay with us for a few hundred years, we're going to possibly give it a name. And if you have a really cool name suggestion, please post it in the comments below because I'm pretty sure that the scientists will soon give it a name, something related to mythological figures or some kind of a creature, probably from the Hawaiian mythology, because this is actually where this particular object was discovered. It was discovered on the Pan Stars 1 survey telescope in Hawaii, so it's very likely that the Hawaiian deities will be used to name this particular quasi-moon of Earth. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. It's a pretty cool discovery, but I guess it's something that will one day disappear and become just another asteroid orbiting around the sun. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like this video as well. I'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about something else mathematical, scientific, or space-related. Game you later, and as always, bye-bye. And don't forget that you can also support this channel on Patreon. Thank you to all of you who have already supported me on Patreon because it is actually something that helps my channel grow and helps me purchase better equipment to make better videos. I'll see you guys later. Game you later.